Hello, everybody. Are you sitting on your bottom? Take a big deep breath through your nose, blow your belly up. Big, strong breath in. Do that again. Big breath in through your nose and breathe it all the way down to make your belly really big like a balloon. One more time. Can you bring your arms up this time? Welcome. I've got a poem for you. We call on the spirit of the earth, the grass, rocks and trees. The spirits of the animals, the birds and the bees. The spirit of the oceans and all ocean creatures too. The spirit of the stars, the planets and the moon. The spirit and the light of our powerful golden sun. The spirit of our ancestors. May their wisdom come. The spirit in each one of us, in you and in me, with truth in our hearts, in love we can be. Welcome everybody to Yoga with Charlene. I am Charlene and today we're going to do a really special yoga story adventure. And the reason why it is so special is because it's about you and you get to come along on the journey. All that you have to do is simply copy the moves that I'm doing and remember that you are the main character in the story. This is your story. So you're ready to begin? Beautiful. Let's do three more breaths before we start. We're gonna breathe all the way through, but every now and again, it's really good to stop and just check in on our breath. So, can we raise our shoulders up to our ears? Big breath in and make your shoulders really tight. And then, breathe out. Let's do that again. Big breath in, shoulders up. And let them go. Do that one more time. Big breath in. Beautiful. Okay, let's stand up for a moment. We're going to play a shaking game before we actually start the story just to get our bodies all ready again. So we're going to shake our body. Shake, 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 and stop. Be really, really still. And notice how you feel inside your body. Let's do that again. Ready? Shake, shake, shake until I say stop. Go. Shake, 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 shake. Keep going. Shake, 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 shake. Stop. Now, can you notice when you close your eyes that you still feel lots of stuff moving around in your body from all your shaking? One way we're going to help that out is we're going to take a big deep breath in to calm all that movement around. Calm it down. So, ready? Big breath in. Two more times. One more time. Oh, that feels better. I think you're ready to do the story now. Now this story started way, way, way back when you were inside your mum's tummy. And when we were inside our mummy's tummy, when you were inside your mum's tummy, we were curled up really, really small, really, really small. We were inside our warm, safe cocoon, inside your mum's womb. 
we were almost like we were floating in our own private little spa. It was very warm and we felt very, very safe. And we were curled up like this in a ball for nine months. And that's been like a very long time. It was quite quiet inside our womb. And although we were aware of movement, we could also hear in the background a very deep rumbling sound, a beautiful hum. How about if we do that sound together now and see if we can still feel it inside our body? So can you place one hand on your heart and maybe just a little way just at the front here at your throat, only very lightly. We're going to take a big breath in and then we're going to hum together and see if we can still feel that beautiful sound that we might have heard and felt when we were inside the womb. Are you ready? Take a deep breath in. See how long you can go for, keep going. Let's do it again. Can you feel the vibration in your throat? Maybe here too at your heart? See how long you can go for next time. See if you can go for longer than me. You ready? Big breath in. Uh... so I can hear you better. You ready? Let's go. Beautiful. How did that make you feel inside your body? Just close your eyes and notice how you feel. Do you feel calm? It made me feel really calm inside. Now there was another sound that we could hear when we were inside our warm, safe womb, inside our mum's tummy. And I'm going to use my drum for that sound. If you've got a drum, you can join me. But if you haven't got a drum, you can bang on the floor. See if you can guess what sound this might have been and where it was coming from. You ready? And I'll do here. Can you guess what's that one? It was your mum's heartbeat and probably your own heartbeat as well. Those were other sounds that we would have heard inside a warm, safe cocoon. We might have also heard our mum's breathing. And then we would have heard voices of those outside in our environment, those that we love and those that we know, other people in our life, other family members. Then the next part of the journey is when it was time for you to make your grand entrance into the world. Yay, and the world had been waiting for your arrival. But everything had to be perfect before you could be born. Can we stand up? Every single star in the sky had to be in just the right place, especially your star. Can you twinkle like a star? Now a song about a star. What about if we step to one side and just lift one leg up off the ground and then step to the other and then step to the other and then step to the other. Twinkle, twinkle. 
Standing up, star. One more time, folded star. Now stay here. This time, what about a twisty star? Can you take one hand down to the ground and twist your other arm and twinkle up to the sky? Twisted star, twisting star. It's twisting it away. Take the other hand down. Big reach up, twinkle, twinkle. Twisting star. Twinkle, twinkle. Twisting star. Twisting star, twisting star, whoa. Standing up, twinkling star, twinkle, twinkle. Shooting star, whoa, shooting star, whoa, shooting star. Two more, one more, shooting star. Beautiful. <sighs> but not only the stars had to be in just the right place in the universe when you were born. Also, all the other planets. Can you take your legs really wide this time? Turn your toes out, bend your knees down. Big, big circle here. And imagine that we're the planets moving around in the solar system. Around the sun. Wow. Now, when I said the sun, can we become the sun? Sun, such an important part. Just when we were in right position and the sun was where it should be and the moon on planet Earth, it was time for you to be born. And when you were born, you let out your first cry. Can you show me how you let, you let out your first cry? What did that sound like? Let me hear it. Oh. And guess why you did that? Because that was your very first time taking your very first deep breath on your very own. You started breathing, breathing this beautiful ear in and out, in and out, and in and out. Oh, wow. You might have also experienced your first hug. Can you give yourself a hug now? Now, when you were growing up, you would have, initially, you would have spent a lot of time lying on your back. Can you come to lay on your back now? And you would have played with your arms stretched out long, your little legs rocking side to side. And you also would have come with your knees like this into a happy baby pose quite a lot. Can you come into happy baby pose and pretend that you're a happy baby right now? Playing on your back, stretching your legs. Beautiful. Do you reckon you can hold your feet and see if you can just roll woo, to one side and then see if you can roll woo, to the other side, can you get back up again? Whoa. Try again, ready? Whoa. See if you can come back up again. Let's go the other way. Whoa. Let's come back the other way. Oh, wow. You're so amazing. And then after you spent time on your back, then can you let your legs go long? You would have learned and gotten stronger as your muscles got stronger to roll over all the way onto your belly. Can you roll onto your belly? Initially, you would have just spent time on your belly. Can you look up 
you would have been looking all around at your world. This pose is called Sphinx pose. So you were doing yoga even when you were a baby and you would have been really good at yoga when you were a baby, just like you are now. So you're doing Sphinx pose. Sometimes you would look up and then sometimes you would look down at your belly button. Can you look down at your belly button now? And look up again, maybe up to the sky. And then look down at your belly button. Breathe in and look at the sky. Breathe out and look at your belly button. Breathe in and look at your sky. Breathe out and look at your belly button. Yeah. Now sometimes you would have just liked to roll and do roly polies on the floor. Can we do roly poly now? Roll back onto your back. Maybe bend your knees and then roll all the way over. And then come all the way back, roll onto your back. And then roll all the way onto your belly again until you got stronger to lift yourself up onto your hands into cobra pose. Wow, imagine how strong your arms are getting now. Then it would have come time to have a little rest. <sighs> this time when you push up into your snake or cobra, take a big breath in. And then breathe out as you come down, like a snake. Let me hear you. Take a big breath in. And big breath out. Do one more time. Big breath in. Big breath out. Let me hear you like a snake. Stick your tongue out. Or actually have it just behind your teeth. Now, you're getting even stronger when you were growing and eventually you got to push all the way up onto your knees, starting to get ready to copy your pet cat. So to drop your belly and wiggle waggle your tail, you might have even started to make the sound. Can you make a sound of your cat? Meow, meow, meow. And then every now and again, cats get a little bit grumpy, don't they? What do they do? Round them, round their back, and they make a very different sound. Can you round your back like a grumpy cat? Round, tuck your chin into your chest, look at your belly button again. Now show me your happy cat again. Drop your belly, take a big breath in. And what about a grumpy cat? Happy cat? Grumpy cat? Happy cat? Grumpy cat? Meow. Now sometimes cats like to stretch. I wonder if you've ever tried stretching like your cat. And I wonder if you can balance as good as your cat. Can you stretch one leg all the way up and the other arm? Not the same side arm, but the opposite arm. Whoa, look how good you are at balancing everybody. That is beautiful, awesome balancing. Wow, you're so good at the swim. You've been looking at your cat. Let's change sides because it can be hard to stay there. This time, take the other leg out and your other arm. Reach and stretch, stretch, stretch. Whoa. And let's take a rest, sitting back, back into our child's resting pose again. And this pose is where we come to any time we need a rest or calm down or we just want to feel safe just like we did when we were in our warm, safe cocoon in mum's belly. So this is a really important pose. Anytime that you feel stressed or upset or you just want to take some time for yourself in your real life, then this is a wonderful pose to come into. Just let your head rest. You sit your bottom back on your, on your, you sit your heel, bottom back on your heels and take some really big, deep breaths. Ah, feels so good. Ah. And then, when you had enough rest time, it was time for you to explore again. But this time, you had been watching your pet dog. So can you tuck your toes under? 
And let's lift our bottom all the way up in the air, straighten your legs out, and now you're just like your pet doggy. I'm gonna turn around this way, and I wonder, does your dog have a tail? Mine does, and he likes to wag his tail all the time. Can you stretch your leg back and wiggle waggle just like your doggy's tail? Let me hear how your dog sounds. Beautiful. Let's change tails again, change sides. So stretch the other tail out. Wow, that is one happy dog. Maybe you like to walk around like your dog as well. And then sometimes we can kneel down like a puppy dog. So put your knees to the ground, come down with your arms down to the floor. You can still wiggle waggle your tail from puppy dog. Wiggle waggle your other tail for a moment. Oh wow, you guys are amazing. So after you learned to crawl like this and you learned to walk on your hands and your feet like your pet dog, you were getting even bigger and stronger and more clever, you started to stand all the way up. Whoa! Every now and again, you would sometimes stand up and then you would sometimes, whoa, fall down. But then you would stand back up again. But then you would sometimes fall down, whoa, and then stand back up again, and then roll back, whoa. Can you stand up without using your hands? Let's see if we can play that game. You ready? Sit your bottom back, tuck your chin in to make sure you don't hit your head on the floor, and then see if you can stand up with your feet. Again, bottom back, tuck your chin in like you're squashing a tomato, and then see if you can stand up without using your hands. Do that again, it's really important when you do the rock and rolling. Keep your chin tucked just to protect the back of your head. You ready? Let's do it again. Make sure there's nothing behind you. Yay! Wow, you're very, very clever. So, you then learn to walk. Can you take little steps forward and back? Forward, oh! And sometimes you want to go a little bit wobbly. Forward and back. And after you learn to walk on your own, you learn to run. Can you run on the spot really, really fast? Really, really fast. Run, 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 run. And stop. Big breath in. Now, you would also learn to hop on one leg. Can you hop on one leg? Hop, hop, hop. Up on the other leg, can you spin and hop? Spin the other way, hop on the other leg. Whoa, you're so amazing. As well as all those physical cleverness that you're creating, you would have also been learning about your emotions. Sometimes, and you might have had this happen already, have you ever? fallen over and hurt your knee or bumped your head or hurt your hand when you've fallen over. Yeah. And what does that feel like? It can hurt. And how can, and, and what happens within you? What do you do when you fall over? Sometimes you do cry. And sometimes not. Sometimes we do. But you, you feel that feeling of feeling hurt. And sometimes if we learn to take those deep breaths, when we are feeling that hurt, let's try it now. Let's imagine that we've fallen over. Rub your knee. Oh, oh and we know that it really hurts. It really hurts. Yes, and it's, it's definitely hurting. Oh, oh, oh. But let's take a deep breath into the hurt. Okay, can we do that together? Take another deep breath into the hurt. 
You'll still be feeling it, but it will help it start to be a little bit easier to hold. Let's do one more time. Well done. You are getting so good at your deep breathing. It's going to help you through so many things. Now, there are other emotions that you're probably learning to feel as well. One of them is when you're trying to put a piece of puzzle into the puzzle and it just doesn't fit. Or trying to push something into a shape and it's just not working. What do you feel then? You know what that emotion is? It's called frustration. And that can come about if something's just not kind of working out the way you want to work it out. And we all have sadness, we all have hurt, we all have frustration. They're very normal. And this is just life's way of teaching you about what those feelings feel like in your body and mind. Let me think, what's another emotion? Okay, what about when you're not getting what you want? If you want something in the shop, maybe your mum says no. Okay, let me do, let me practice the tantrum. Can we all do a tantrum? Because it does generate the energy of anger. So let's all pretend that we're really, really angry and frustrated about something, okay? Doesn't mean we're going to get what we want. And often we're sometimes better not to get it. But all we want to do is feel the feeling of anger. You ready? Let's all pretend that we're really, really angry together. Can you throw a tantrum with me so I'm not the only one? You ready? We just never hurt anyone or never hurt ourselves. But let's throw a little tantrum now. You ready? We can stop. Close your fist. <laughs> Show me your tantrum. Oh, wow, you're good at that. Okay. And now I want you to start to laugh when you're throwing your tantrums. <laughs> oh, take a big breath in. And then <sighs> put it out. Let's do that two more times. This is our tantrum breath. You ready? It's called kind of sort of almost like a volcano breath. So big breath in. And make that noise as well. That's the important part in our tantrum breath. You ready? Big breath in. Let's do it again because I love that one. Ready? And again. So next time we're feeling angry, rather than throwing a tantrum, which is okay, as long as we're not hurting anyone or hurting ourselves, maybe try the tantrum breath, the volcano tantrum breath. You ready? And we shake it off. And then we come down. Now there's another feeling we might feel. And it's kind of like this feeling that if we see a shadow on the wall at night or we imagine something, because we've got very active imaginations, especially at our age or at your age, you really do. And it is such a beautiful thing. Every now and again, they forget that they need to have a little bit of a rest and have a good sleep and they just keep going. So sometimes that can come out in feeling scared. But everybody feels scared. And again, something that you can do when you feel scared is again taking some deep breaths and we're going to do breathing buddy at the end of today's session so um, i'll tell you more about that breath at the end of the class it'll be when we put our breathing buddy on our belly and we lay down on our back and i'll pretend this is my breathing buddy and i'll get a real buddy soon maybe you can have a toy or someone ready as well as this when we're in bed and we'll pretend that we're calming our breathing buddy down, making him feel really safe, putting him on our belly and feeling as we breathe into our belly him moving up and down. I feel calm already. I can't wait to do that later with the more of our breathing buddies together. And there are other emotions we can feel, but one of them I really know that you'll probably all felt is happy and loved. So let's give yourself a hug now. Beautiful. 
Now, as well as learning about your emotions, as you grew and as you continue to grow, which you still are, you're still on the amazing journey, some of you might have already learned to ride your bike. So can we take it down on your back? I'm just going to move my drum. Lie down on your back. We're going to pretend that we're riding a bike. Can you ride a bike? Can we go up a hill? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, can we go fast? Ride, 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 fast, 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 fast. And then we'll go slow, slow. We're going up the hill. We've got to work harder here. Oh no, we're going down the hill again. Go, 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 go. Fast, 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 fast. Faster, faster, faster. Go, go, go. Oh, slow. And slow. And slow. Let's go fast again. Go, 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 go. And slow. Don't we go backwards? Go backwards, back, 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 fast, 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 slow. Ah, oh, beautiful. Gee, you're amazing bike riders. Now, do you also remember the first time that you went outside and you felt the rain? I can hear the rain coming now. It's starting with some wind. Can you rub your hands together? Rub, 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 rub. And when the sunshine comes out, after the rain, what do we see? The most beautiful rainbow. Can you come up onto your knees? Can you take one arm down beside you? Can you take your other leg out beside you and stretch your arm all the way over your side, just like a beautiful rainbow look at all of your colors whoa what beautiful color rainbow you are draw your rainbow back down bring both knees together and let's do rainbow on the other side you ready this time take the other hand down come up onto your knees stretch out draw your rainbow across the sky reach your body in long big breath in shine your beautiful colors and breathe your rainbow out. Now, your mum probably also took you into the garden where you might have planted a seed into the ground or watched a seed as it started to grow. So, can we be like the seed? And we're going to go back into a same child's place just like we did when we were inside our womb. So here, and now we might want to gently pit a pat of some rain on the back of your head and the back of your neck, or if somebody's there, they might want to do it for you. And then you can do it for them. And then with the sun, with the rain, and maybe you can sing your seed a little song to help it grow. What song can you sing to your seed? And what beautiful, positive encouragement can you give your seed? You can tell it how special it is and how clever it's going to be and how much it has everything inside it that it's going to need to help it grow, to help build the qualities that it's going to share with others. It is such an important seed and it is going to have everything it needs for the journey to cope with the weather, when the weather gets a little stormy, to be amazing in the sunshine. That little seed has all it needs. And look at how it's starting to grow with all of your love. Whoa, and it grows so tall all the way up to the sky until it becomes a tree. Can you become a tree now? 
Maybe just bring your arms down. You can be a baby tree by placing one heel on top of the foot. You, if you want to balance, hold something, or you might be balanced too. You might want to take your tree higher, just under your knee. Or if you want a big tree today, you might want to come all the way up. You think you can put your hands at your heart, can be a balanced tree. And if you want to be a really tall tree, can you grow your arms up? Now, if you stay in tree, I'm going to come and blow you down. Don't let me go. You are a strong tree. And I want you to show me how strong you are by not letting me blow you down. You ready? Here I come. I'm the wind. And again, here it comes again. Whoa, you have such a strong tree. Let's do that one more time, but this time we change sides. So can you change legs? So this time stand on the other foot, place your foot there, place it here or higher, and here comes the wind. Whoa, try it again. Whoa, one more time. Wow, you're amazing. Oh, gee. I think it's time for a little rest. So I think maybe we may come down to lay on the grass on our backs and just take some time to look at the sky. We're going to imagine we're lying on the grass. Even if we're inside, let's pretend that we're lying on the beautiful green grass. Pretend it is such a beautiful, beautiful day. And you're looking at the beautiful pale blue sky. The sky is so clear. And it's almost like you can become the sky. And every now and again, you notice a white fluffy cloud and sometimes a darker gray cloud. They just float by and sometimes they cover so you can't see the blue sky. But the blue sky is always there in the background. I want you to see if you can become just like the blue sky, clear and always there in the background, even when the white fluffy clouds float by or even when those big dark grey clouds float by. Because they always do clear. They always float by and the sky will come back to being just how it was, or just how it always is, clear and blue, just like you, clear. <sighs> that was nice to just have some time to lie down and Watch the clouds go by and imagine we're like the blue sky. It's now time for us to finish the story. So we're going to now pretend that we are all of a sudden lying in our bed at home. And now I'm just going to grab my friend, my soft toy. So if you have a soft toy or somebody that you want to use to place on your belly, to help you relax, then I want you to grab yourself toy now. I've got my friend, the owl. This is my friend, the wise owl. And this is going to be my breathing buddy today. This is the breathing buddy exercise that I showed you, that I talked about before. So lie down on your back and we're going to pretend that we're in our bed now and pretend that it's night time. Can you place your breathing buddy on your belly? Somewhere where they'll stay. And then start, oh, one's falling off. Place it a little higher. And you know, mine rolled off. It's because I'm breathing into my belly and blowing it up. And every time my, my belly blows up, it moves my breathing belly. Can you see?
Yeah. And that's helping our breathing body calm down and helping us calm down too and get ready for a beautiful night's sleep. Breath in and a full breath out. You're feeling nice and calm now. Because when we do feel calm, when the stars are in the sky, and just before sleep every night, our friend Dusty, the unicorn of dreams, comes down and gives us a special delivery, delivery of stardust from our very own star to help us have really peaceful night's sleep. We close our eyes and we can even picture our unicorn, your unicorn in your mind coming from your star to give you a special dose of your stardust for the night so you can dream peacefully. You might even want to go on some nighttime adventures with your unicorn. Maybe you can give your unicorn its own special name. Or maybe it's not a unicorn, maybe it's a flying horse. Or a flying star, maybe something different for you. And I'll let you decide. You can stay lying down for as long as you want. I'm going to say thank you for coming on this little yoga story adventure with me. This is the first one we've done together like this. And I look forward to creating lots, lots more for you. I'm sending lots of love and sweet dreams to you all. Namaste.